you've lived this life for a while. How do you, I know you said something, you had a hard time going to sleep at night, you're still having to see a therapist sometimes, talking to some people, you know, to kind of be able to flush it out. It's not like you only did it for a year, two years, three years. You, you lived this life for oh, some time. I, How are you I'm keeping up to stay changed? Because what? I was diagnosed with PTSD. I don't hide that fact because I try to help soldiers and other people that have been diagnosed with it. I don't hide the fact that I see a therapist. I don't hide the fact, I'm like an alcoholic, I said it over and over again. It's easy for me to hurt somebody or kill somebody. That's the easy part. For me, it's easy. I don't say anything different. The hard part is not doing it when they talk crazy and talk stupid and this. So you have to work at things, right? So I get through it day, each day. So today I get through today, I worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. But I'm not gonna change who I am. So who I am is this. I don't need to call 10 guys. And the reason why I said when I baseball batted this guy and I say who's there, I'm by myself. When I shot these guys, I'm by myself. I, because I want people to understand. I don't need 20 guys to feel strong. And I didn't need 100 guys to say I'm cooperating now because they betrayed me. I just ran through this. The mob betrayed me. I didn't betray them. So they're not going to switch that on me. I'm not one of these dumb guys. I was educated, college educated, street educated. I'm college not educated. Yeah, I went to college also. So I, I didn't graduate the four years, but I went to college three years. So I'm educated and I understand life, right? And I understand if John Gotti Jr. ever turned around and, and learned to be a gentleman, shook my hand and said, let's forget about the past because there's a ton of guys out there that tried to kill me that I'm friends with now. The guy Stevie knew that he planned on killing me and I shot him, we're friends. Because there's a level of respect. Again, I'm gonna go back to level of respect. But when you wanna bullshit the public and yourself and throw your garbage on me and you're not man enough to say, this is what I did, mm. I'll never be your friend. I'll never respect you. So when you turn around and you be a gentleman and say, okay, this is what happened, I couldn't take the life anymore. Yeah, I did cooperate. I'm good with it, I don't care. I'm not gonna hold nothing against you because I moved on. There's guys that robbed my money, big, big money, like that kid in uh, Marco, 750000 I don't go looking to kill him. He's Do you not still miss the lights? Do you still miss any of it? Anybody that says they don't miss the life, in my opinion, that's been in the life like we were, is a liar. I think we all miss the life. But the only difference is we get older, we get smarter, we understand there is no loyalty. And I think you miss, like we all say, camaraderie and all that. And I joke about it. I say, well, join a bowling team. So if you miss the camaraderie. But I know that this life of what I thought it was as a young man, as a kid, does not exist. So, you know, my friends that I, when I am together with my friends, the guys I grew up with and we go to the beach or we go as families, I don't miss the mob when I'm with them because, again, now you're with real friends and you don't gotta look over your shoulder and I don't gotta worry about getting in a car and I don't gotta worry about anything with them. And, that, you know, there's no treachery. There's only true friendship and love for each other and our families. And this is the part that kids really gotta understand because I know I was there. I know that it's enticing. Right? And all this is enticing. But just what you said, I'll be a liar to tell you, you know, Ralph Natale from Philly said, I sleep like a baby. And do I like Ralph? He's an all right guy. But I said he's full of shit. Because I, don't, I think if you talk to anybody who's been in the armed forces, seen action, or anybody from the streets or a police officer that did, did shootings, you're not sleeping. You're a liar. It's just not possible. You just, you know, because subconsciously there's guilt. And you know, you asked me, it seems like I don't care earlier. I do care, that's why I go to therapy all the time. I did get in touch with, so you just, for information, you and the public, I got in touch with tons of my victims. Some would talk to me, some wouldn't. I cried with some and some I didn't, but this show is not about how I feel. This is not about my personality of you know, regret. Nobody wants to hear that because, it, and at that point it doesn't mean anything if they do or don't. It does to me of, of the families I need to speak to and the, and the families I need to apologize or the families. But again, and I'll be a liar if I say anything different, I'm still the same guy. So that means if somebody busted in this room right now and tried to hurt us. You're still I, capable. I'm, of course I am.